Hey everybody and welcome. Welcome to the first episode of Kingdom Hairstylist. I am your host and my name is Billie Jean. I just want to say thank you all for taking the time out to listen to this podcast. I know that there are tons of podcasts out there, but the main reason for this podcast is for the stylist that is already doing business with God, the stylist that wants to do business with God, and the cosmetology student that just came out of hair school, or the cosmetologist that's already in hair school. And this is just a great platform and a way to um, motivate, encourage, and inspire other hairstylists on this journey that we're on. We all know that it is not easy, but I guarantee that if you start to do business with God, it makes your business a whole lot more successful and peaceful. Peace is very important to me. Matter of fact, I value my peace. And before I had God in my business, I was very, very miserable, upset all the time, anxious all the time, worried about getting new clients, worried about my clientele that I already had, worried about being able to cover all of my bills. And it's just, it's so much easier now that I have God in my business. I've been able to relax more trust more, and my faith is bigger than it used to be. So I encourage you all to run your business with God involved. Don't leave him out. Apart from him, we can do nothing. Our strength is not as strong as his. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And it's just so much better. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how fear paralyzed me when I first came out of hair school. I came out of hair school in 2006 with little to no direction. And I just felt so fearful. I remember saying to myself, I'm not going to be a great hairstylist because I'm not fully equipped for the things that I need to be successful. Meaning, I didn't really have a whole lot of experience with styling hair Uh, Hair school pretty much just prepared me to take the state board cosmetology test, but there was still a whole lot of things that I needed to know. I was really good at cutting hair because that's what I pretty much did in hair school, but I still lacked in so many areas, especially in color and especially in marketing. I had no idea how I would build a clientele and there was really no one I could go to or turn to which is why I created this podcast. I wanted to create an environment where you could come and get inspiration, motivation, and encouragement because it's definitely not easy in the hair industry. And we got to be together. We have to rally together and come together and help each other. And a lot of times when you come out of hair school, you don't really have that. You don't have a coach. You don't have a mentor. And a lot of times we can't really afford to pay for a lot of those things because they're so expensive. So I created this podcast to give us a place where we could come together, inspire each other, and motivate each other. Because the walk is not always easy. And especially if you don't have God in your walk. I felt out of place. I just felt like I was going to just do so bad. And then it started. I started doing it and I started getting good with it. I made mistakes on the way. I learned from all of the mistakes that I made. And then I learned how to just stay in my lane because I wanted to do so much of everything. And then I realized that you have to do what you're good at. You can't do everything. You have to do the things that you're good at. And the things that you're good at, you have to perfect those things. It's called perfecting your craft, and it's something that you have to work on each and every day to become the best hairstylist that you wanted to become. So fear had me stuck for quite some time. I would say so many bad things to myself, so many negative things like, 
You're going to mess up today. You're going to mess up everybody's hair. Nobody's going to come back. You're not going to be able to build a clientele. You might as well just throw in the towel. You might as well just stop right now while you're ahead. Don't go into work today. Take off today. You don't know how to do color. You don't know how to cut hair. And I didn't understand that those were all the tricks of the enemy. I didn't understand that the enemy was trying to tell me these things because he knew that I would be something great. I mean, I've been doing hair since I was nine years old. So even though I felt like hair school didn't equip me, I was already equipped. I already knew a lot of things. I just allowed fear to come in and stop me. I allowed fear to come in to paralyze me and keep me where I was. And once I realized that something was trying to keep me and hold me back, it's like I woke up and I just decided that through all the mistakes, I would still keep pushing and keep going forward. And now all these years later, I'm still a hairstylist, but I'm a more peaceful hairstylist and I know how to fight those negative talks now. And a lot of it comes with the giving God the first fruits of my day, surrendering my day to him, talking to him each and every day, each and every morning, praying before I leave out of the house. All of those things are helping me to be a better hairstylist. So I just wanted to come on here today to basically tell you all that no matter what it looks like, how scared you may be, how fearful you may be, you have to learn how to fight it. Every day we have to renew our mindsets when we get up. We have to learn how to speak to our days. We have to learn how to tell ourselves that something good is going to happen today. I'm going to be a blessing to somebody. Somebody's going to be a blessing to me. No matter what it looks like, my day will go great. If you start to tell yourself things like that every day, then your day will really go great. But if you tell yourself negative things every day, the negative things will happen to you all day long. So everything starts in the mind. And there's nothing wrong with making mistakes. I had to learn that. And I'm so grateful that I did. It's just nothing like doing business with God. So I encourage you, if you're not already praying every morning, to pray. I encourage you to pray at night when you get back after your day was long and busy and crazy. I encourage you to pray. I encourage you to pay your tithes so that you can get financial increase. I encourage you to be generous, to be a generous giver. Everything that we reap, we sow. So if we want to do better, we have to just do better. Simple as that. Do things different. Don't do the same things that you've been doing each and every day. Try to be nicer to your clients. I know that's something that I had to work on more recent. Um, It's the way that I speak to people because if I'm already having an emotional day or some things might have not went the way that I wanted them to go, I have a tendency to take it out on people. But I, as I started to pray more and see God, he showed me that I needed to work on my attitude. And once I started working on my attitude, things got a whole lot better for me. So I hope that this encourages you. I pray that you find peace within yourself so that you can just be a better hairstylist, a better person, a better co-worker. Whatever it takes to just be better. When we know better, we do better. So have a blessed day.